This is Eric over at KaylinPlus.com, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, CCTV power supplies and uh, give you maybe give you some tips to ensure that you're powering your cameras correctly so your installation is successful. Uh, this is going to be um, all 12 volt DC related. Uh, as you could tell, that you know the two of the most popular ways to power cameras is you can you know one is you can use a 12 volt DC uh, um, plug-in transformer, and this would basically plug right into the the wall or or an outlet or a, a surge protector. And then the other side would plug into your your power cable, and uh, this is actually a two amp. Uh, transformer so it's pretty popular I don't really recommend it uh, the end result you know if you have multiple cameras you know now you have a power strip laying somewhere that's powering all your cameras uh, somebody can unplug it somebody could step on it and turn it off uh, you never know what's gonna happen now your surveillance system is down and, and now it's not really doing what it's supposed to do so uh, I usually always recommend using essential power supply uh, this one's from Seco Alarm but uh, I'm not really not concerned about the part number right now let's just go ahead and show you the inside of this thing first of all you're gonna power it with the, the power cable so uh, you know you can wall mount this anywhere you want um, you know it comes in a real durable uh, metal uh, container that protects it and uh, this is going to plug right into the wall and plug into the power supply and then also you, here you have your, uh, your your four channels that you can run four cameras now usually these come in you know four nine or sixteen uh, channel configurations but the you know the most important thing you're going to realize is uh, 12 volt DC is uh, really difficult to work with it has so much voltage drop that often your cameras are just underpowered I mean a lot of the cheaper cameras uh, or the less expensive cameras have infrared LEDs and sometimes they need a full amp to, to power and, and you, you, when you look at the power requirement of your camera you have to take into account how much power it needs during the day when the infrared LEDs are off and how much it needs at night because at night it's going to need a lot more power so sometimes uh, people don't send enough power to their cameras and next thing you know the IRs turn on at night and you really just have a dark screen so uh, you, know, you always got to count for the voltage drop with 12 volt DC uh, so, you know I usually recommend people if they can you know get a camera that's dual voltage or 24 volt AC it just doesn't have the voltage drop it's a lot easier to work with so if you're gonna have a, a camera that needs one amp um, a power uh, the odds of you sending that uh, you know 80 90 100 feet is going to be really a challenge for you so something to think about uh, again choosing the power supply for a CCTV system uh, is is often the most overlooked part of it but in my eyes it's really the most crucial part so if you have any questions uh, my email address is on uh, my channel if you have any questions about uh, you know evaluating your power requirements for your system uh, that's what I do here at Cabling Plus and I'd love to help you out so I can make sure your installation is successful so hope you have a great day take care